really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and yeah, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. You're going crazy. Starting to act different, huh? You, 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 ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you never really got my number, so. All right. Okay. My number. The world around Diddy is currently crumbling into pieces. And as his secret life comes into focus while he's locked behind bars, everything he's ever done is being looked at in a different light. You're going to hear about my party. They're going to be shutting him down. They're going to probably be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things just because we want to have a good time. And so are his interactions with other people in the limelight. Most notably, one younger star who was welcomed into his inner circle and may have seen or even been subjected to some terrible things. Let's talk about Justin Bieber. I mean, I, I can't go on Twitter or TikTok or any of these social media platforms, it seems like, without seeing a video of Justin Bieber or Usher with Sean Combs. It's your boy Luesta, and this is the dark relationship between Justin Bieber and Diddy. Fresh from his homes being raided by the feds, Diddy was apprehended at a hotel in New York City on charges including sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy, and interstate transportation for prostitution. Now he's being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center after his attempt to secure bail with a $50 million package was rejected due to his concerns that he posed a risk to the people he had previously subjected to his quote-unquote freak-offs. Reportedly, the bad boy CEO would pump his victims full of drugs and use both violence and intimidation to get his way during day-long orgies containing people of both sexes. As a man who spent most of his life in the limelight, everything he's ever said in an interview is now being looked at sideways. Because at times, it seems like he's been hiding in plain sight. This is what you need to do. Women, beautiful women, beautiful men for the ladies. From there, he got a lot more specific, seemingly detailing the recipe for the perfect freak off. We need um, alcohol, you need um, some water. No, no, I don't know if guys have noticed this, like a lot of ladies, drink water at parties they right. just you know so you have if you don't have what they need they're gonna leave right gotta right. keep them there right you need, you need locks on the doors <laughs> okay this Let's, is sounding kind of dangerous now it's a little kinky but yeah you know, yeah broccoli but just right check it out you need um a lot of heat you mean that physically the place has to be hot you don't have no air conditioning no air conditioning no. why is that heat affects the alcohol and it also affects like um you know everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose builds up a nice little sweat that just sounds disgusting what are you doing every video like this that re-emerges has people horrified and to make matters worse it was revealed in a new lawsuit that diddy is facing allegations of abusing children as young as the age of nine by promising to launch their careers in the entertainment industry apparently there's over 120 accusers including 25 minors and that leads to why so many people are looking more closely at diddy's seemingly close relationship with a very young justin bieber now, it still remains unclear if Bieber, who was seen in a resurfaced video spending 48 hours with Diddy at the age of 15, that I'll get into later, was one of the victims. But recently, word spread that Bieber took the news of Diddy's arrest really hard. A Daily Mail says that he's very upset over it and that he's, he's having a hard time registering it and he's kind of shut down when it comes to the topic. Another source reported that Bieber is so disturbed by the Diddy news and is unwilling to process it or discuss it, so he has shut off. So many people who helped to make him where he is were very close to Diddy and it has completely thrown him. Justin hasn't been responding since the home raids. He had a long break from Diddy where he believes most of this took place and he had distanced himself from him. But why was Justin so intent on distancing himself from the situation? Was it to save his own career or out of genuine sadness over what was happening to a close friend? Or, as more and more people are wondering, is it that Diddy's real nature coming to the surface is bringing back a lot of trauma for a young kid who saw too much too soon? Because when you go back over the history of their relationship and some of the footage from those early days, it's hard to tell whether Bieber was being mentored by Diddy or exploited. Once Justin Bieber exploded onto the scene, he was immediately seen as one of the biggest teen stars of the 20th century. Within what seemed to be a matter of months, he went from singing on YouTube to selling out arenas, and soon, he he was rubbing shoulders with the biggest names in showbiz who all seemed to want to get to know this 15 year old pop phenomenon. Then enter Diddy. From the outset of Justin's career, Puff seemed intent on forming a bond with him. Whether it was personal, professional, or a little bit of both, 
Puffy set out to get close to Bieber, and this led to him hanging out with him for two days straight. Why he chose to do that remains unclear, but looking back, the whole footage is full of red flags. Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. I, ha I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. Man, after my heart. That's what I'm talking about. Kid. After the fact, people have serious questions about where his parents or even his guardians were. I mean, think about it. What mom would let their young son spend time and party with a full-grown man who is a multi-millionaire alone for a full 48 hours? Diddy was a menace, and their guardianship is something that we'll be getting into later. But we're not done yet with the footage of the two together that is just so hard to look at. What's particularly troubling is an incident Diddy chose to broadcast to the world, where he appeared to be visibly angered by Bieber for abandoning him. Two years on from the original footage of them hanging out, they linked back up when Bieber was 17. And this time, the atmosphere, as well as Justin's body language, was drastically different. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, 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 ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But. It, you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. Number? Really, this should have rang alarm bells even then. But watching this now is a whole different ballgame for viewers. Bro, you're in your 40s and he's a minor. That boy was terrified when Diddy questioned him. Not the same energy from their other video. Something happened. Diddy definitely did something to him. It's situations like this that make people wonder just how many more Diddy's there are in the industry who are protected. How many more kids have been groomed? As more individuals come forward to share their experiences with Puffy, it appears that fear is often part of the equation when it comes to dealing with him. In the eyes of Freddie P, who got his start on Diddy's MTV reality show making the band, this was clearly the case in every interaction Justin had with Puff. And not only that, but it had lasting effects going forward. I want to know what Justin Bieber, all these, I want to know. Justin Bieber, look at his life change. His man, life, that man is terrified of Puffy. I seen the video. I'm in the streets, dog. You and like people know you know fear, dog. I mean, like, what's your what happened to your number? You like, oh, man, I, 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 I lost it. No fear, man. As far as the public was concerned, Puff and Bieber were always on good terms. When Justin got arrested for a DUI in 2014, Puff was right there to come out and defend him. I don't think that he um, should should be judged like he's not a human being or he's not a teenager that has to hit some stumbling blocks, you know what I'm saying? It's just not fair to, to make him a perfect human being. These days, there's a lot of speculation over what purpose this served. And with all the talk of coercive control on Puffy's part, a lot of fans and supporters of Bieber's feel this wasn't the show of friendship it initially appeared to be. Imagine your abuser defending you, making people think he cares. It's a deep kind of torture. But there could be another reason for him to try and excuse this. Because by the looks of it, Bieber might have learned how to drink at Diddy's house. It turns out there is plenty of footage of him looking intoxicated at his parties. He's your eye count alert. It's cold. He's bad boy now. It's cold. Don't ever play yourself. <laughs> On another occasion, he was seen partying hard with OBJ at a Diddy party. He even found himself in what appeared to be a rather compromising situation with the NFL star. From the moment that he was ushered into Diddy's circle, it looks like Bieber was exposed to the party lifestyle that Puff lived, including some of the wilder things that most celebrities are trying desperately to prove that they weren't involved with. In a clip from Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Chloe speaks about her experience at a Diddy party, which included rampant nudity and none other than Justin Bieber himself. Who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, 
Justin Bieber. I got on a plane at 5.30 a.m. for this party. I think half the people there were butt naked. For context, this episode aired on August 17th, 2014. At the time, Bieber was 20 years old, with the footage likely being filmed even earlier than that. Meanwhile, Chloe was 30 and Diddy was 45. Whether he had dirt on him or not, it's clear that Puff had a degree of influence over Justin Bieber because whenever they were seen together, Justin treated him with the utmost respect. At times, his entire demeanor shifted just by being in Puff's presence. And as recently as three years ago, he appeared genuinely terrified of him, even as Diddy appeared to be patting him down for a wire. Still, despite how strange their interactions seemed, they continued to collaborate as recently as last year, with Justin appearing on the track Moment from Puff's The Love Album, Off The Grid. As the project emerged, Justin even went on Instagram to salute his apparent friend, saying, I remember going to my brother Diddy's office to pitch him a song I wrote for him when I was like 14. Sadly, the song was trash, and it would be a hard no from him. Fast forward to a few years ago, Puff asked if I would freestyle something for his upcoming Love Album. Wild full circle moment, love you at Diddy, followed with some heart eye emojis. Despite all the apparent love, it now seems like Bieber is going through it in the wake of the news that he's been apprehended. According to sources, he wants to focus on being a dad and is in a happy bubble, even if he looks anything but that. When Bieber made his first public appearance after the news broke, he looked gaunt and distressed and just really looked like there was a lot weighing on his mind. Since then, fans have demanded that he does something, anything to remove the trauma that they believe the situation is bringing to the surface. Release the skeletons in your closet and a huge weight will be released off your shoulders, said one user. In the past, Bieber has vaguely touched upon some of the pain and damage he endured. During an interview with Zayn Lowe, for example, he was asked about a previous quote he made about wanting to protect fellow child stars like Billie Eilish. And from there, he broke down in tears discussing the pain that he felt. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's hard because I want her to know that, you know, she can count on me, but at the end of the day, I don't want to, I'm never going to force myself to be in relationship with her. It has to be natural, right? So I just kind of you know, let her do her thing. And if she ever needs me, I'm going to be here for her. But, um, but yeah, just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh, encounters and um, <sighs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I just, um, I just want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to, to to lose it. I don't want her to, you know, go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. So, um, yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. This hasn't only happened in interviews. During certain songs, such as Lonely with Benny Blanco, he hinted towards his experience with the isolation he felt. Bear with me reading the lyrics as I can't play the song because of copyright. What if you had it all and it felt like nobody to call? Maybe then you'd know me because I've had everything, but no one's listening and that's just lonely. I'm so lonely. On another line from the track, he declared that, and everybody saw me sick and it felt like no one gave a shit. They criticized the things I did as an idiot kid. At the moment, it's important to note that Bieber has yet to claim that he has anything to divulge about the whole Diddy situation. So despite the torture expression on his face, it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever trauma he's experienced is directly tied to Diddy. In all honesty, Diddy may just be the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the harassment young Bieber might have faced. For instance, there's this time where he was damn near molested by a 40 year old where he admits on live television that he felt violated. Then there's the time with James Corden, who said he smelled good and asked how old he was. Can I say this? Lean into me again. You smell amazing. How old are you? Uh, thank you. How old are you? 
I'm 16. I'll be 17 in like two weeks. I don't ever remember smelling that good at 16. Like I was, that was bad. Yeah. Wow, look at your eyes. The time where he called someone out for trying to give him, who was 15 years old at the time, a sex talk. Have you, has your mom given you a sex talk yet? I mean, like, I, I really like, I really don't want to have that conversation with my mother. Yeah. Like, I've, I've kind of had it with my with my father. You want to hear, oh, really? A See, my parents, my parents never gave me the sex talk. Okay. So why don't you give me the sex talk? I, I really, me. I feel uncomfortable right now. Oh. Why do you want to know the sex talk from a 15-year-old boy? That's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the album. And just more and more wild stuff. Would you rather be have to be naked on stage during one full song, <laughs> one full song, or drink... <laughs> A cup of blended worms. <laughs> Answer Justin Bieber. <laughs> I have like little girl fans. I can't go. Okay, imagine that. But what is interesting is that on the very same day that Diddy was taken into custody, Bieber's father in law, Stephen Baldwin, released a TikTok where he might have been cryptically hinting towards what was going on. And by the looks of it, there's something big coming. You have heard the expression, the calm before the storm. There is always a calm before the storm, but then so is there another calm after the storm. Considering everything that's happened, it would be reasonable to suggest that Diddy was the man who was in the firing line. But for a lot of those who are calling for Puff to pay for what he did to Bieber, they believe that there's another man who has to answer for his role in leading a young Justin into that world. Because if it wasn't for another fellow star who goes by the name of Usher, then Bieber wouldn't have ever been in Diddy's vicinity to begin with. Way back at the start of his career, Usher was Justin's original mentor and took credit for discovering him directly from YouTube. To stop you like that, but this is only a tease, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing to you, Island Def Jam recording artist Justin Bieber. Let's get ready to go down. Just so you know, we're in the studio right now working on it. Get ready because it's gonna be big, ain't that right, Justin? That's right. That's right. So look out, we're coming. Through his cosign, Usher gave him access to not only his fan base but also his immense showbiz connections that he picked up after decades in the industry. And sadly, that would put him on path straight towards the notorious man who's being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center. You see, Usher had been in the game since he was barely a teenager. And long before he met the young Canadian pop star he took under his wing, Usher himself was mentored by Diddy. In fact, when he was just 13 years old, he was under the legal guardianship of Puffy when he was at what he called Puffy Flavor Camp. This meant that for a long time, Usher prepared for the spotlight by living with Diddy. And years on, he revealed that he saw a lot of things, which he even opened up about in a 2004 Rolling Stone interview where he said, a totally different set of shit, sex specifically. Sex is so hot in the industry, man. There were always girls around. You'd open a door and see somebody doing it, or several people in a room having an orgy. You never knew what was going to happen. In the years to come, Usher would continue to discuss the situation like it was the most natural thing in the world. At times, he even appeared to be trying to justify it to everyone. And you're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was and it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was But even though he endured this experience at a young age, he has since disclosed that he wouldn't let his own kids did attend a Diddy party. Jodeci, and your were Mary okay? J. Blosh, they ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> With all that we know today, people are horrified by this. Because clearly, there's a lot of hypocrisy there in his willingness to throw Justin to the same wolves that he lived with. If Usher couldn't send his own kids to Diddy, why would you send someone else's kid? Justin was barely a teenager and all he wanted was to make music. This is sad. Some victims end up becoming predators sometimes. As Diddy's case keeps looking worse and worse, there are some people who feel sympathy for both Bieber and Usher as well. As in the view of some entertainment lawyers, they believe that there was a duty of care that Diddy violated. I think people are very concerned with what was happening with the minors that were that he was surrounding himself with. 
Um, he was Usher's guardian. Usher lived with him, right? Usher's the one that brought Bieber in. Uh, Bieber was 15 at the time. So while we may be talking about other celebrities in the context of what did they know and what did they not speak about, the difference here when we talk about Bieber and we talk about Usher is these were kids. Like they were truly kids in an environment that, you know, even if nothing happened to them, even witnessing anything along the lines of what we're hearing about in the indictment um, is is abuse in my opinion, right? So no, no child should be exposed to those sorts of things, especially from people that they're idolizing, people that they're relying on um, to help them in their dreams. Um, and so I think that that is very different when we talk about Bieber and Usher. I think it's a very different conversation than when we're talking about other celebrities who may witness them, some of this. Others aren't so charitable towards the R&B singer. Jaguar White, who was attempting to blow the whistle on Diddy for years and is now only being vindicated, believes that anything that may have happened to Bieber while around Diddy is directly on Usher's head. That Diddy trying to get at Bieber the way he was trying to get at Bieber was looking a little predatory. And then Usher came in and discovered it and managed him and got custody of him and promised to look after him. And then he sent him to the diddler. Whatever happened, it seems like Diddy is about to experience justice. We can only hope that the victims, including Bieber if he was one, can find peace in the aftermath of it all. As always, it's your boy Luesta, and I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, or click one of the two videos on the screen. Till next time my friends, peace.